put something on me and I was trying to defend myself. Just one day after a warrant was issued for her arrest, the Dallas County District Attorney is rejecting the felony charge against the woman who was beat in Deep Ellum last month. CBS 11's Shady Miles joins us live from City Hall, where civil rights activists believe their protest led to that decision by the DA. JD. Gilma, LaDejanique Lee just spoke for the first time since she was charged. She said she was angry, and even though that charge was dropped today, she says she still feels like police are treating her more like a target than a victim. Earlier today, Dallas City Council members faced harsh words and chants for more than two dozen activists while leaving a morning work session inside City Hall. The outrage was over a felony criminal mischief charge facing Lee because she damaged Austin Sheffield's truck. Lee broke his truck windows moments after video captured him beating her in a Deep Ellen parking lot over the way she parked. The activists at City Hall believe the public protest played a role in the Dallas County District Attorney's Office decision later in the day to decline prosecution. Lee spoke to us this afternoon after the charge was dropped, still upset that police would even consider it in the first place. It makes me angry. Like I told them, it makes me feel like they're saying that the guy's truck is more valuable than my life. Now, Lee may no longer be facing a criminal charge, but Shuffield still faces two felony charges, one for the assault, one for displaying a gun. Civil rights groups now say they will refocus on making sure he's prosecuted as if this were a hate crime. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thanks very much.